Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the minke fly. There's many variations of this zonker streamer out there, and it can be tied with bead chain eyes, lead eyes, lead wraps around the hook shank, or just weightless. Tie it in colors to match the fry the fish are chasing in your favorite stream or in just bright colors as an attractor fly. So here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a TMC 5263, that's their three extra long streamer hook. This one's a size 10, and our thread is Danville's 6 aught in white. We're going to start with about a hook shank, or an eye length and a half behind the hook eye, and we're going to wrap back to the start of the bend of the hook. And we'll tie in our first material, which is just going to be a grizzly zonker strip. And we'll measure this out to be uh, about up, up to the hook eye. And then we'll separate out the hair from the leather to give us a nice clean tie-in point. And because the thread is white, we won't see this tie-in point when the fly is finished. And we jump our thread in front and make some tight wraps. That will lock that in place. Now for the body of the fly, we're going to use some Spirit River Estes Medium and Pearl. And we'll prepare that by pulling some of the material away from the core. And we'll tie this in right up against our zonker strip. And then wrap forward to our initial start point, put a whip finish in so that we can use our rotary function of the vise to tie in the body. And this first wrap you want to give a good tight tug on it. And with touching turns we're just going to wrap this up the hook till we reach our Tie in point right there. Cut off our excess. And at this point, I'm going to change threads. We're going to go with Danville 6 odd in black so that the fly has a black head. And we'll tie in our throat, which is just going to be some strung saddle hackle in the color red. Tear off a bunch of these fibers, pull them out even to the stem to even them up. We want this to go back to about the hook point. And we'll tie these in so they're about touching the point of the hook. Like so. Cut off our excess material. And all that remains is to tie in the last of the zonker strip here. Oh, it's a little bit long. And for a tie-in point, we're going to pull some of this hair off the leather. And just continue wrapping until we've covered all of the material and we've got a neat head. Looks like we've captured a couple of fibers here we'll get rid of. Make a four or five turn whip finish. Or not, cut our thread, and we want to make this fly tail about as long as the shank of the hook. We'll come underneath that leather with a razor blade that avoids cutting any of the fur, gives you a nice long tapered tail, and a little head cement.
And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. <laughs>